<laughs> I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true. I was surprised. Hey, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello, nice to meet you. Uh, today I'm going to be doing my college admissions reaction video and I've been watching these since like middle school so 12 year old Maddie would be pretty upset if I didn't make one. But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, for some context, I applied to eight colleges, which was Pace University, Columbia University, Barnard College, USC, University of Arizona, Juilliard, The Hart School, and Montclair. That's eight. Yes, okay, I wasn't sure if I could <laughs> remember them all, but I applied to those eight. And my admissions process was kind of different from normal people because I went to this dance college audition over the summer in 2020. And I heard back from a couple colleges, but instead of like getting it in like the decision letter format, it was in this Zoom award ceremony. And I completely forgot to film it. And so I'm missing footage of me getting into the dance program for four colleges. I do have a picture, which I will include. <laughs> That crying picture, that was me getting into pace because I didn't think I was gonna get into the dance program and I was freaking out and my teachers were watching me on the Zoom call and they were like freaking out for me and I was just, I was bawling my eyes out. You can tell from the picture I was pretty emotional about it. But anyways, at Pace University, I was accepted into the dance program with uh, $100,000 for four years. Um, I got into Marymount Manhattan College, which was, I think, also $100,000 for four years. And then um, the Hart School gave me, I think it was $64,000 for four years. And then uh, Montclair State University in New Jersey gave me in-state tuition. I just got an email from U of A that said I had an application update. I'm going to click on this right now. And I've earned admission to U of A. Wow. Okay. Um, I still need to submit my dance stuff. Whoa, I got $35,000. Holy. Oh my god. What the heck? I'm just accepted into the academic portion of the college and I'm trying to be a dance major so I need to apply and get accepted into the dance part which I'm not gonna submit myself because it's not due for a couple more months so I'm chilling on that. But yeah, I got the Arizona Distinction Award which is really cool so now I just gotta cross my fingers for the dance stuff once I submit that. Um, yeah, thank you U of A, that was really cool. <laughs> okay, funny thing about U of A, I didn't realize that it was rolling in missions so for a while there I was really confused and I had to call my mom and be like, why did I hear back so soon? But I was just really dumb. Hi guys, it is December 8th and I just, I logged onto my Pace University portal earlier and I saw that I had an update. Um, so we're gonna check it out. But I was babysitting all day and so I, I saw it at the beginning of babysitting and I wanted to wait until I got home so I could film. So I've desperately been wanting to open this all day. I babysat for 10 hours, so I've been waiting for a long time. Okay. Okay, look, it says click here to view decision letter. My sister's here and she's filming from a different angle. Okay. Posted December 8th. It's yes. Oh, I've been in a mid honors college. Sweet. I'm gonna be doing commercial dance and then probably communications. I'm in a double major, um, but I wanted to do the honors college too. So, Ooh. yay! I have my uh, award from the summer, which is twenty five thousand dollars a year for commercial dance, and it looks like I got an honors scho honors scholarship for one thousand five hundred and scholars tuition of three thousand. Guys, I literally have a Pace sweatshirt and I forgot to put it on for my reaction. I'm kind of upset, but I'm not gonna refilm it because those reactions were genuine, even though they were boring, but I'm upset now. Pace, love the dance program. I stayed there for like two weeks over the summer at one point and I've toured it, loved it. Super happy that I got in. Hello, good morning, you guys. 
It is uh, December 16th. Do, do not comment on my hair. I had just gotten out of the shower and blow dried it and done nothing else. So I know it's frizzy. And I got an email from Montclair State University that there's an update to my application. So I'm gonna check that out. Also today is another babysitting day. So I'm doing this before I go this time. So I don't have to wait all day. Okay, status update. So it's loading, but there's confetti. Oh, oh, okay. I got in. Montclair State's National Student Scholarship. I save 40%. Okay, I just checked. The National Student Scholarship is like what I got over the summer where it's um, in-state tuition instead of out-of-state tuition because I don't live in Jersey. So yay, thank you. Like I was saying, I got into that dance program over the summer and I was just, just then opening up the normal academic stuff. Hello, it's December 18th and I just got an email from Juilliard saying that there's an update to my application page. So we're gonna check that out. I'm not really expecting um, an acceptance because that Juilliard is just so hard to get into. So you update. I'm honestly like not really stressed because I feel like I didn't like expect much, so. Okay, yeah, it was a rejection, but I'm not like really bummed out, so. First rejection out of how many acceptances? Like three so far? All right, I'm not mad about it. Yeah, I didn't expect anything from Juilliard. <laughs> Hello, okay, it's January 17th. I look like this because I just got done with a dance class for the heart school and I logged on the website and realized that there's a new update to my application. So it came out on January 12th. So it's been a few days and then I just didn't realize. Yay, I'm in. A heart academic scholarship for 5,000 and performing arts for 15,000. Oh, I'm in the honors program too. Yay. Thanks, Heart. Heart was another one that I got into over the summer for dance, and I was pretty excited to get into it academically too. So yeah, don't I don't really have much to say about that. Hey you guys, it's February 8th, I believe, and I just got an email from USC Kaufman, which is like the dance part at USC, and I am rejected from the dance program so i'm not moving on to the round two interviews or whatever which is fine but apparently i i'm like still applied to like the normal school part but yeah so rejected from usc dance there was one point in my life where i like really really wanted to go to usc and dance there and then i just i don't know i got caught up in like pace in some other places so it just kind of was off my radar and i think that's why i didn't mind the rejection as much but yeah you know it is what it is <laughs> i got a phone call from um one of the professors or like directors from university of arizona for dance and they told me that i got in so i couldn't really film a reaction because i was literally on the phone and i was babysitting so i just like couldn't but yeah yay i might try to like tour the college or something she sent me some video links but yeah, now I'm just waiting on the honors part. You know, I actually toured University of Arizona's campus in March and I really liked it. Hi guys, it's like 2.30 in the morning right now. I was playing video games, but I just got an email that my honors update was posted for University of Arizona. So I figured I'd just look at it now instead of in the morning because I wouldn't be able to fall asleep if I didn't check. So I'm clicking on it right now. Yay. Yay, I'm in to honors. So now if I go to U of A, I can stay in the honors village, which is like their special dorm area with food and stuff for all the honors kids, which is super cool. Yay. All right, good night. I'm gonna go to sleep now. U of A is one of my top schools. These next clips are like my favorite and you'll, you'll see why. <laughs> Okay, hi guys, it's March 30th. Um, I just got my wisdom teeth taken out, so I really hope you can hear me. 
and I could have waited to film this, but I thought it was kind of funny. But anyways, USC emailed me and said that my there's an update to my portal. So I'm gonna check that. But I mean, first, check out that swelling. It's gonna get worse from here. But anyways, I was already rejected from for dance. I just was curious if I'd get in, like academically. Let's see. We're unable to offer you a space. That's fine. I kind of figured, and I wasn't really sure if I would want to go if I couldn't dance, so I'm not upset, um, but I'm gonna go and take a nap now. Goodbye. Like I said, it's not the top of my list, so I'm not really that upset about it. Hey, so it is March 31st. Um, apparently this video has turned into document my wisdom teeth removal journey. So yeah, but I just got an email that Barnard uh, has an update to my application, which is weird because Columbia comes out next Tuesday. So I thought Barnard would come out the same day, but apparently it doesn't. Um, so I was not expecting this, but we're gonna check it. I'm logging in right now. Status update. Oh, it's a no from Barnard. Okay, it's chill, you know? I mean, waiting on Columbia next week, but I applied to like the dance program at both. So this could maybe reflect Columbia as I'm thinking, but I'm just gonna keep my hopes up, you know? It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, well, it's a no from Barnard, that's fine. I've actually never been on Barnard's campus, but I did tour Columbia back in like 2019, and I know that their dance programs are kind of like hand in hand. I think that they're at the Barnard facilities. So yeah, I don't know. I wasn't too upset by the rejection, I guess. Hey everyone, so it is April 6th, 2021, which is Ivy Day this year. Uh, the only Ivy I applied to was Columbia University, so I'm gonna check out my application status uh, because the um, decisions came out on at like 4 o'clock, um, my time, which is Pacific Standard Time because I'm from Washington. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna see if I can even get into the website because everyone says in the videos that they can never get in for like 30 minutes to an hour, so we'll see. Oh my god, okay, it says... I'm in the page and I can click on my status update right now. I'm scared. Oh, I didn't get in. Okay, that's okay. That's that's chill. It's fine. Okay. Cool. Well, this is my last college that I needed to um hear back from. So, now I can actually start to make my decision, which is also equally probably as stressful. So, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> Ugh, I'm not gonna lie. This this one kind of hurt. At in the moment, I like hadn't processed that I was rejected, and then afterwards, I was like, shoot, I can't go to the really pretty campus. I call it like the paradise in New York City, but you know, it's fine. I'll end up where I'll end up. So I think that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed my pretty tame reactions, but the wisdom teeth swelling kind of did make up for it. You gotta give me that one. But you can probably find out about my decision on my Instagram. I might make a YouTube video about it. We'll see. Uh, thanks for watching. Falling for you